a bright and early good morning to San Francisco International. I am on my way to New York. I haven't been back to the East Coast in over two years and I'm super excited. The main reason I'm going is that I'm taking part in Eater's Young Gun Summit. Uh, just basically a food industry conference, but I'm really just going for fun. Wow, there's the plane I was just on. I can't say New York's airport is the prettiest, but it's very functional. <coughs> it's not nearly as hot as I thought it would be. The first thing that I smell is the halal carts. I just spent some time walking around Madison Square Park in Chelsea, but now it's time for dinner, and this I'm really excited about. The choice for tonight is Momofuku Nishi, David Cheng's Italianesque restaurant. Now in Ms. Nan in uh, Chelsea Market, trying the world famous baby cauliflower. I'm now in Brooklyn near Williamsburg on my way to my Airbnb. Good morning, everyone. The uh, AC is a little bit loud, but I made it to my Airbnb uh, late last night. Momofuku Nisha I thought was just okay, not as impressive and memorable as some of the other Momofukus that I've been to. But the, uh, the cauliflower at Miznan, now that was really, really good, especially with the tahini. But yesterday was a really good time catching up with an old friend from Boston. And today I have uh, most of the day free. I'm probably just going to explore New York a little bit. I'm staying in Brooklyn and haven't spent much time here. Also planning on going to the uh, Museum of Food and Drink. I'm back on Manhattan, close to Penn Station in an area called Hudson Yards, where there's a lot, a lot, a lot of new development. And with new development come lots of shopping malls. I'm gonna check out the shops at Hudson Yards. You can tell that this is one high-end place because they're just blasting the AC. First thing I'm here to visit is this giant art installation called The Vessel. And it's a staircase that leads to nowhere. Here I am at the very top. The reason this is called Hudson Yards is because all of this is actually built on top of an old train yard. I'm in Mercado Little Spain in Hudson Yards. It's kind of like Italy, but for Spanish food. I'm walking along the High Line Park, this kind of raised walkway with a lot of plants. This is just an awesome outlook into New York City. Finally, it's time for lunch. And uh, where I'm going today is a little falafel store called Taim. Oh, I almost completely missed it. Here's my falafel platter with saltar pita. That was some pretty good falafel, especially the harissa one. It was just perfectly spiced and it had just a little kick to it. And that hummus was just perfectly balanced with tahini. Uh, well, now I just took a quick walk and I'm now in Washington Square Park. Just enjoying the sun right now. Walking right through now in St. Mark's. There's all sorts of eateries here and especially lots of izakayas. Headed back to Brooklyn on the way to the Museum of Food and Drink. Here it is, MoFat. I've been wanting to come here for such a long time. Their exhibition now, Chow, making the Chinese American restaurant. General Tso's chicken is the most ordered Chinese dish on Grubhub.com. No, no, egg foo young is a very typical Chinese dish. Uh, but what makes it American is this sauce. And this sauce is also Chinese, but in America together, it's very American. Here's the mushroom egg foo young. I absolutely love this museum. It even documents Chinese American cooking techniques. Back on the subway. I've now ventured a little bit deeper south into Brooklyn and uh, I'm going to check out Japan Village Food Hall. It turns out that Japan Village is only a small part of this industry city area. I haven't even found it yet. Oh, I finally found Japan Village. Also, has a little grocery store too. Sitting down for a frozen Greek yogurt because it's just hot, hot, hot outside. Today was a really good day. By far the highlight was visiting the MOFAD, the Museum of Food and Drink. Especially because I got to uh, talk to the manager and talk to some volunteers. And of course the chef who prepared the egg foo young tasting. Here I am at Ugly Baby, very, very tiny Thai restaurant. Starting with some uh, coconut milk cakes. We're sitting right at the bar with a full view of the kitchen. 
the second dish, the Kanam Ji green curry with chicken. Here's the last dish. It's a curried rice with fermented pork. This looks awesome. We made it to downtown Brooklyn. I love these food halls. It reminds me so much of being in Asia. Today was really a great day. MoFat's still the highlight in terms of attractions, but uh, Ugly Baby was definitely the best restaurant so far on this trip. Well, it's been a long day and I'm gonna go to sleep soon. Tomorrow's a big, big day because tomorrow is the Eater Young Gun Summit, what I came here for.